His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa approved and issued today Law 17 for 2016, accrediting the amended protocol of a Marrakesh Agreement establishing the World Trade Organization. His Majesty the King also approved and issued Law 18 for this year regarding limiting investment partnerships. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at Ghadibiya Palace today Shura Council Chairman Ali Al Saleh and numbers of representatives and Shura Councils. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister called on studying the tragic situation and chaos in some countries due to foreign interference in their internal affairs in addition to difference among the people. He said that some Arab nations are living a true disaster and should be a lesson for those who follow illusions of foreign policies that only lead to destruction and displacement. He reiterated the importance of unified stances amid rapid regional developments, noting that Arab cooperation and integration is a tool to face all challenges. The Prime Minister stressed the pioneering national role of the legislative authority through its legislative and monitoring role, noting that governmental parliamentarian work is a complement to one another to achieve the best interests of the country and prosperity of its people. His Royal Highness said Bahrain, thanks to governmental policies, has turned into a destination for education and treatment, calling on more efforts to further enhance all fields that promote Bahrain's status. He urged caution of attempts that aim to harm national achievements and hinder development process, confirming that Bahrain's shield is the unity of its people.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting today at Ghdaybiya Palace. The meeting welcomed the results of the recent Arab summit which was held in Waqshat and noted the importance of putting its decisions into effect through set mechanisms that would enhance joint cooperation among Arab countries so as to overcome all challenges and threats led by the phenomenon of terrorism. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister followed up the progress of developmental projects in the southern governorate, especially in Jow and Askar villages. He directed to speed up the completion of planning processes of projects related to housing, municipal, educational and health services of the residents of Jow, Askar and Adur. He also directed that to meet the needs of all areas across the kingdom in regards to housing services and noting the achievements that have or has been made under the reign of His Majesty the King in this regard. The Prime Minister stressed the importance of sustainable urban development and the necessity to encourage innovative ways of implementing ideas that would socially and environmentally contribute to the protection and sustainability of the cities. He urged strengthening a constructive cooperation between Bahrain and the United Nations Human Settlements Program, the Uni Habitat. Also during the meeting, the Cabinet was briefed by the Housing Minister on the results of the third preparatory meeting of UN Habitat 3 conference, which was held in Indonesia recently. He noted Bahrain's effective participation in the conference, which reflected its interest in issuing the Sustainable Urban Development and Housing, which was honored by granting His Royal Highness the Prime Minister the Scroll of Honor Award in Urban Development and Housing and launching Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa UN Habitat Award. After that, the meeting discussed a number of issues listed on its agenda. The cabinet discussed a national plan to solve negative phenomena and issues related to loose labor during which the Minister of Labor and Social Development briefed the meeting on the themes of the plans and suggested recommendations. The meeting also discussed adopting the new international standards for taxes information exchange which has been approved by the Global Forum on Transparency and Exchange of Information for Tax Purposes. The cabinet approved adding a pan substance to law 15 for 2007 regarding drugs and psychotropic substances law and to take all necessary legal procedures in this regard. It also approved a draft law to amend some provisions of social insurance law that allows private sector workers to buy extra years of service. The meeting also reviewed a number of proposals presented by the Council of Representatives. Representatives of His Majesty the King for Charity, Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa affirmed that Bahrain's participation in the Olympic Games in Rio de Janeiro 2016 is fully supported by His Majesty the King and followed up by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. He highlighted the importance of such events on the global sports map as the only function that hosts such a large number of athletes from around the world. He said the Games is an opportunity for the Bahraini team to reinforce the kingdom's sports status. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed optimism of Bahrain's participation in this year's Olympics, wishing them continued success. Bahrain is participating in the Olympics Games 2016 in Rio de Janeiro with a large sports delegation compromising of, or comprising of 36 athletes, marathoners, sprinters, swimmers, short and long haul runners. Very good evening and welcome to the Business News here on Bahrain Television. Bahrain has taken first place amongst the Gulf countries in the e-government readiness category of the UN e-government survey for 2016 and for the second consecutive time listed amongst the top advanced countries in the world on the e-government development index. The report ranked the kingdom 24th out of 193 countries for e-government readiness on the international level. Meanwhile, the UAE took the second spot in the region, ranked 29th globally. Kuwait, 40th globally, took out third spot, followed by Saudi Arabia at 44th, Qatar at 48th and Oman at 66th. The report praised the efforts undertaken by the GCC, 
It highlighted the mutual initiatives of the states in regularly organizing the GCC e-government conference to exchange experiences, accelerate e-transformation and improve the indicators measured in the report. The Bahrain All Shares Index closed today at 1,174.44 points, marking an increase of 7.72 points above yesterday's closing level. The commercial banking, services and industrial sectors rose, with the commercial banking sector representing the majority 42% of total share value traded. Overall, there were 69 transactions today, comprising 1,129,930 shares worth 407,306 Bahraini dinars.